welcome to another unboxing here at the Grüne Horde. Today I am finally received the package I have been waiting for for a long time since I saw the first renders of the model. And the model is really really cool and it's for Halo and it's the Pelican. There's no picture outside of the box but size wise this is the standard solid hat box that we know from Spartan and it's just no, basically one model and a warthog and some infantry in there. Let's say it's really one big model. So, first things to show you what is inside for all those that haven't seen them yet. There's a warthog inside where you get some resin parts which you can mount like this, glue in the wheels and then windshield driver weapon option and two more here to blend out some of the, the connection to the screws. I don't really want to show you this. Um, here's the rest, since I have basically one built Warthog already here. Huh. This is out of the starter set, that's what you will get in these two packages. Next you get four bases of standard infantry and one base with an HNG team. Cool, thanks. The interesting part of this box is the Pelican itself. There are landing gear options, one bag, Warthog and Wing options, another bag, standard components, these you have to mount, this is the front weapon, I'm um, not yet sure what this is. I will see it during the process. I know where it goes, but I need to see a picture again. Um, okay, then a lot of components, and this is just one of them. If you compare the size to, for example, a Fast Armada Retosa battleship, this piece is even already bigger than the battleship. Okay, the battleship might have more details, but it's a different scale. Huh? Then there's another piece of this size and the second side. This is somewhere in the back. Two wings. The thrusters at the end of the ship and two more parts. You also get some base, two of them, and rules. Okay, let's go for the paperwork first. It's a flyer type, elements are one, you don't need two of them, <laughs> it's far too expensive. Um, 250 points each. Okay, and this basically fluff text, it's the workhouse that shuttles in the troops. Well, okay, that's what we know from Halo. Stats, move, air support flyer, so it comes in with an air support mission, and this last pages of the rule book. Weapons, it has a 15 inch aut auto cannon, 15 inch missile launchers. They can only shoot to the front. And they have 6, 10, and 6 dice, and 10, 6, 6. Depending on what you want to shoot, you would choose auto cannons or missile launchers. These guys are devastating against infantry, and the others devastating against um, armored, which always means you get plus one firepower rating. So, with rules wise, when you are on a um, ground attack mission, you start with firepower rating. Five, I think. So even if they are in um, cover, you will have a firepower rating five since you get plus one. You, or if it's four, then you have a firepower rating of five. Cool. Um, it also has a, a special rule, dust off. So on certain air support missions, the supply drop, they can go onto the drop point and then dust off up to space. <coughs> cool. Okay, let's go for these next. These are the bases. And they are huge. And you get two of them. It's bigger than my hand. Huh? There are also instructions how to build it. This is the flying one. This one is the uh, landed one. Okay, if we get all the parts out, 
you get this part twice so you can build both and exchange them and how to build them just put this in here this part goes in here and this is the aft of the ship so I think it should go like this I need to try the position in. okay this one is in the middle so here it doesn't really matter which direction I build it um, and then in this case it's clearer this is the front so this two body parts which just go together like this they will go in here yeah and it even stays there right now I don't even have to do much more than this cool really really cool model okay let's go for the model itself and that means this one should go like this no to the end that's correct and then it's landed okay so i've already shown how you build these two just glue them there are some ball joints here which ensure that you have enough surface to gluing them then this part will go in here and I will put in green stuff here and into these holes that should do a really good connection. Squeeze it together, some glue, perfect. Or you do some kind of bolts in there. Okay. The aft is this and you can see this part which will slot in here. Now you need something to hold it together, and that's this part. This goes in here, and now you just have to hold it down here. Okay, when you have glued it, it's more stable, and it will look like this. We have wings, which go on both sides, these are the wrong ones. This wing will go here, and you can turn it and mount it the way you like. Something like this, and an aft thruster. Same, it's turnable. I'll do it something like this. I'll do it straight, I think. Maybe slightly turned. And you can imagine the prop ship yeah, powering down from space, like this. And it's difficult to get a clear picture. Huh? due to the size. Where is the focus at this moment? Here. Okay. I glue them together and I'll show you how to mount the other pieces. But I really like the model at this moment. Okay, here I am again and I've started mounting it, checked everything, I unpacked the bases, cleaned up the figures. I will do two figures inside my pelican. I won't fill all those holes with figures, I will just place two in the first two positions. There are those holes inside where you can place them. I've also glued the first few parts. That's the main body, where you have to squeeze in these before you glue it so that it's movable and um, this one is not really movable in my case um, I think I squeezed here too much uh, then you glue this part first this guy goes in here and then this one goes down on it and you um, glue these together and squeeze in part of this this is an optional piece different color this is the standard piece but I will mount the option and the other one is a yeah, separate door, terrain piece, whatever. Um, you can place the warthog in here. And then this goes into the warthog. Okay. I have also started gluing on the top section. And I glue in this part here. And then I started gluing in magnets. I don't have enough magnets at the moment. There is the front weapon, which could be magnetized in here. And all these go with their magnets 
here. I've also glued the light stand and like this it's stable but it still has a weight problem and I haven't got everything that I can mount. I magnetized the aft ones already and you see it's now too heavy. I need to add weight on the front but I don't have these with magnets yet. So these will go here after you enter the weapons. These have holes for magnets again. They will go in here and then like this. Looks cool and okay with magnets these will be movable. There are a few fins, two for each side up here and here and the front ones are this one is thicker than this one so you know which one goes where um the back ones are quite clear which one goes where yeah. i've also magnetized the wheels there are two options you can have the wheels out here that's needed for the lower flight stand or you can use this one this is the wrong side over here and it just goes in here done what's left weapons there are just weapon pylons which you could mount on the wings i'll show this like this no they will go in here or when you have a long one and a short one or you mount the rocket packages which will slot in here nicely cool so i will mount all these parts now <clears throat> i'll finish the magnetizing i haven't got enough magnets here and then i'll show you the final model once more okay this is the final take i'm done with the model i haven't got enough magnets for all positions but i've put some in here not strong enough yet i will need to double them up um the wings will just magnetize there where is this one like this i need to put in a double layer magnet here mounted all those fins mounted the weapons mounted the warthog transportation system that's these two acrylic parts here and then you take your warthog and you just slide it in like this and it could take the warthog really cool i would paint these parts separately all of them and then I uh, either magnetize them or I finally glue some of them. I would, I believe I will glue them in the long run and I believe it will be the flying version. It just looks cooler. And then the only thing that is removable will be the warthog since I might need it for games. This is how it will look like at the final end. Let's get the last. Wing. Ah. Slightly too big. Difficult to hold everything. Yeah. That's the final model. Hope you enjoyed. I'll show you the painted version someday. See you. Thanks.